Today we're doing a review of the Amazon Basics USB powered PC speakers. Um, I picked these up uh, for a um, uh, speaker set for the examining room of a physician's office. Uh, this is used to play instructional videos uh, uh, such as how to use a meter dose inhaler with a spacer, how to use a nebulizer, uh, videos like that. Uh, I didn't need uh, super high quality speakers for critically listening to music uh, and I wanted something simple. So I went with these speakers. They cost $15 a set on Amazon. Uh, as far as appearance wise, I think they look nice. Uh, whether or not you want the blue LED lights there or not is a matter of taste. Personally, I would prefer that they weren't there because I find the blue light distracting. Uh, but it's not really a big deal. Uh, they do have a volume control on the speakers and uh, that helps. Right now I have it set on uh, mid volume. Uh, and as far as sound quality goes, uh, they're okay. Uh, I mean, I don't expect much for a small pair of uh, $15 uh, PC, PC speakers. Um, in their design, they include a passive radiator, which is down firing, uh, and that does seem to accomplish extending the bass range uh, significantly lower than the built-in speakers of my uh, PC, even with the um, extra plug-in small woofer that comes uh, with the laptop. Uh, these uh, Amazon ba basic speakers uh, reach significantly lower than that. However, uh, if there's a very extended bass range, it goes down really low, they will distort. And if you turn the volume up, they will distort. So I'm going to play a couple of uh, sound clips from the uh, YouTube royalty-free music library. Uh, I'm doing that rather than uh, playing uh, uh, popular songs, which I would rather do, but I don't want to have any copyright infringements in making this video. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> just sequence to a few different sound clips so you can get an idea of how well the speakers will perform. If I turn the volume up loudly, you'll hear it distort.
So, I think most people would not be playing this at the maximum volume. So they can get uh, reasonably loud and reasonably loud before distorting. So I, I think the, um, the speakers are, are decent uh, for what they are. Um, I think uh, there was a, another set that I had uh, purchased before that was, I don't know, maybe $5 more per set and they perform significantly better than these speakers. Uh, but then the question is, well, you know, how far do you go uh, when all you want is something where you need to have clear voice and uh, some, be able to play some background music, but you don't need to uh, have a, a critical, uh, tone range, uh, you don't need deep bass, you don't need uh, super high treble, you just need a de decent mid-range uh, clear speaker to hear um, uh, audio for a, a YouTube video or whatever. Let me play a couple more clips and then we'll, we'll stop. idea of what to expect from these speakers and will help you decide whether uh, they will meet your needs or not. So uh, thank you for listening.